Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 17th of 2021 well, it is titled the Einstein cross gravitational lens. So what do we see here? Well, at first glance, it appears to be a galaxy and you can almost see some spiral structure, perhaps faintly swirling around this with an unusual nucleus with four nuclei. And in actuality, we are not even seeing the nucleus of the galaxy that is there. What we are seeing is actually four images of a distant quasar. Now what a quasar is, is the extremely active core of a very distant galaxy many billions of light years away. And as that light travels through space, if it happens to be lined up with a galaxy such as this one, the galaxy and the galaxy's gravity will act as a lens and will bend light. And it bends light so that light coming from different areas in heading in slightly different directions, all gets bent towards Earth. So in this case, we get what is known as an Einstein cross where we have four images of this now to get a, a multiple images space like this, you have to have a very, very good alignment between the distant quasar and the galaxy, the gravitational source primarily at the center of the galaxy. And as the light travels along those different paths, it will all reach Earth at different times. So we'll note that sometimes there are brighter areas and sometimes there are fainter areas, which could be due to actual variations in the quasar itself, the different paths the light is taking, or even micro lensing within the galaxy as individual stars may pass closer uh, or in front of that light path and it's specifically enhance it even more. Now this was actually a prediction that Einstein made back in uh, the 19 early 1900s with his general theory of relativity. And his prediction was that light would be bent by strong gravitational forces. And this differs for what would happen under Newton's law of gravitation. Newton's law of gravitation looked at gravity as a force between two massive objects. So a mass with an object with no mass such as a photon would then not be bent. And here we get distinct bending and that was one of the first verifications of Einstein's general rel relativity just a few years after when eclipse expeditions noted the bending of light of stars pass of starlight passing close to the surface of our sun. Now that was the easiest one to check first as the sun is the largest source of gravity that is relatively nearby to us. But we have now been able to verify this with much many other objects, which actually can tell us a lot about the mass of our intervening galaxy. So by the amount of bending that we see tells us something about the mass of that galaxy. And actually is one of the ways we measure the amount of dark matter present in these galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for October 17th of 2021. It was titled the Einstein cross gravitational lens. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Earthshine fireworks. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.